Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday. Back here at the Connecticut Science Center, of course, with Aoife Ryle. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, for this week's edition, we're talking about the International Space Station and how they breathe oxygen. Yeah. How they get the oxygen that they breathe, I exactly. should Exactly. Yeah. Not how they breathe. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about this the other day, and yeah. I actually talked to one of my coworkers about it, of how are they getting air up there? Mm -hmm. How do they breathe? Um, and he, he helped me learn that it's actually, they get it from water. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Yeah. There's because a, water, H2O, the O is the oxygen? Exactly. Yeah. 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 So um, there's this process called electrolysis where you can take water and break it down okay. into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas um, using a little bit of an electric current through it. And this is something that they do on the space station to help our astronauts breathe from mm. recycled water. Okay. Um, but it's also something you can try at home really easily. Okay, so we're gonna try it right now. Exactly, right. yeah. So I'm gonna have you start off for me pouring 100 milliliters of water into okay. that container there. Right. Very good. This is just tap water. All right. And then I'm gonna that, have you add a little bit of Epsom salt. All right, so just one scoopful? Just a scoop, yeah. All right. Um, and that Epsom salt, and then you can stir it in. Okay. That Epsom salt helps make the water more electrically conductive. So salt water is about a million times more conductive than pure water. <laughs> okay. So that's going to help this reaction go a little faster. <laughs> gotcha. So it may take a little while for me to dissolve all the Epsom salt. Yeah, but so. we, I have one over here that okay. we, can, we can do. Cool. So this one, I have the Epsom salt I'll already dissolved. Yeah. Um, and then all we need to do, like I said, is put an electrical current through it. So we're going to do that with a little battery here. Of course, on the space station, they have much more sophisticated systems, but <laughs> <laughs> um, a little nine volt will do. And then you also just need two washers and um, some, some leads here. So I'm going to hook one lead and one washer up to one side of the battery. Okay. And the other one's going to go to the other side of the battery. Okay. And then we're just going to drop those washers into our water and Epsom salt. The trick here is making sure those washers don't touch each other. All right, so. so we want those electrons to flow across the water and Epsom salt. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, so you might notice some bubbles coming off. Yeah. Guess what that is? Uh, that would be the O of the H2O? Yeah, you the got oxygen. It. So one side is making oxygen gas, the other side is producing hydrogen gas. Um, and you might notice that one side is bubbling almost twice as much because mm -hmm. of that H2. Gotcha. Oh, right? Of course, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and so what they would do on the space station is, again, with systems more sophisticated than balloons, <laughs> they would trap that <laughs> oxygen and pipe that back in as breathable, breathable air. Very cool. Yeah. And then actually all those other byproducts they don't want, they just vent out into space. <laughs> all right. I mean, all right. Yeah. So yeah, again, this is something you can totally try at home. Um, a good way to you know, talk about space and how they breathe up on the space station. And we can't really segue from this to our next topic <laughs> yeah. because, I mean, dinosaurs, they, need, they needed oxygen. Yeah. But to segue to a really cool exhibit here at the Science Center, <laughs> um, dinos dinosaurs around the world. Yeah, not, not up on the space station. No. Um, <laughs> on our planet. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> on our fourth floor. Um, yeah, we have our traveling exhibit right now, Dinosaurs Around the World. Um, there's a full-size T-Rex. <laughs> there's these huge animatronic dinosaurs. Um, it is here until September. It's here all summer. Awesome. Yeah. And what's also awesome is it's included with general admission. Yes. All yeah, right. good point. So we are recommending you still jump online and get your tickets ahead of time. But like you said, included with general admission. If you haven't seen it, definitely come check it out. All right. Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.